the difference is that they taught you that these things in school are facts. They taught them to you as if they're proven facts. They're not. Space is not a fact. Gravity is not a fact. Nobody can verify. Nobody can repeat. back again today with some guy or no that guy i'm sorry who are you He's, i'm this the guy God. whatever i'm gonna call him surf boy actually i was playing my favorite game let's find out who's talking out their ass on youtube and i came across that guy many of you have likely seen him on Ragical's channel and some others if you haven't checked out Ragical yet you should do that i think he kicks my ass frankly he has pioneered the facepalm cannon Ah, it doesn't get any better than this. These fairs out in the field are so much fun. Roasting me a chicken, having some brewskis with the crew. You know, we've gotta have these fairs more often, and maybe even invite some of the other lads and lassies out there in the lands of YouTube. What the hell? My chicken! Alright, calm down, people. Freaking facepalm battery. Well, I guess a silly must have said something extremely silly for that thing to be triggered. Nah, judging from its factor, I guess it's going towards Canada. <laughs> I hope that Beaver is prepared, or perhaps beavering away in his damn damn. What was that? Caution approximately five seconds remaining till impact five. Four, oh no! Engage three, countermeasures! Two, one. Warning. Woo! That was close! Ever since the Order of the Sillies developed rocketry, things have gotten a little bit more interesting around here. Anyways, let's get into this. Surf Boy over here has been talking a lot about north, south, and how compasses work, and I just kind of wanted to maybe take a peek at that and just tear it apart, because he's wrong. No matter where you are, your compass is pointing to the center of the Earth. Whether it's the northern hemisphere, or the southern hemisphere. Just because they named him north and south does not necessarily mean one on top of the other. Terminology gets people a lot, I feel like. That's why they named it North Pole, so you automatically assume that there's a South Pole underneath. Don't let terminology trick you. Um, north just means center. It's just a name. We could name it anything, and it, and it doesn't matter. North Pole is nothing more than a name, and a very crafty name, if I, if I have to say so. So, I knew right away that not only did North and South not necessarily mean one top of another, they don't mean anything like that. Nor did they ever. Old English Nord, meaning northwards, and an old Germanic Nord, meaning left, it also means left in Old Irish, Tauth, left, northern, Arabic, Shamal, meaning left or north. The reason it meant literally left in so many old languages is because facing the rising sun, north is to your left. And since you needed to know which way north was to find your way back home, that's important. So now let's look at south. Old English sud, meaning southward, to the south, southern, in the south. Or from Proto-Germanic, synthaz, perhaps literally meaning sunside. And countless other old languages where we know for a fact that the derivative that led to south never meant one on top of the other, or below the other, or whatever. Some of them meant below and above in certain terms, but it wasn't in the way he wanted it to. Those crafty old Germanic settlers. It's so amazing they predicted this huge conspiracy and began early enough to establish it in our very language. God. I really wish I could live on the fucking candy land these people live on. It's crazy. Yeah, the compass lays flat. It's pointing straight as if there's like a laser pointers on either end of the needle that will shoot in a straight line. They don't curve, because if you're gonna curve your line off into space, you might as well start curving it, like, immediately, right? If we can bend this line, sorry. If we can just say that the, uh, the lines are, you know, going out off of Earth and wrapping around Earth, then what's the difference between saying that and saying right after it leaves the needle, it's pointing straight down? If you're gonna curve the line, you can curve it anywhere you want. It's an arbitrary line. But this is where you're wrong. 
what am I saying? The whole thing is wrong. To you, the lines are arbitrary because you don't believe they exist the way they do. Nobody is going to convince me. That's fine. We're aware you're a self-deluded asshole. We know this. The world does not require you to accept reality. We will move on without you. It's not like you're the first dumb guy riding the figurative bus. The good news for you is we'll probably still drop you off at your stop and let you go on your merry. We used to have small buses for these students. Hey, that's a good question. Hey, that guy, when you used to go to school, did you ride a short bus or a long bus? And did your mommy tell you how special you were? Let's let him talk a bit more before we really drop the fact hammer on this asshole. What's up, everybody? Um, had to make another video. To all my haters out there that aren't thinking, aren't even considering that they might be wrong. Ego, again, it's ego, guys. Whether you understand that or not, you don't know everything. Nobody is going to convince me you don't know everything. Nobody is going to convince me. Ego, again, it's ego, guys, whether you understand that or not. Hey, what's that old saying again? Oh yeah, the pot calling the kettle black? Okay, I'm gonna go over the globe and the compass and the flat earth and the compass and show you that it's physically impossible for a compass to work on a sphere. Um, it's not only um, implausible, but it's impossible. Whoa, 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 what was that? Did you guys see that? It's not only, um, implausible. He's like he winced when he was trying to think of big words. Oh, that must have hurt. His poor little mind. I do love it when the Flat Earthers finally put their ideas to paper, or in this case, chalkboard, because it really lets you just tear the idea apart. This is looking down on top of the globe, right? I got the equator here. You're looking at the top of the ball, down onto the North Pole. I'm gonna try to talk slowly and clearly. He does this throughout all of his videos. He, like, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk real slow for people. And then he talks to us like we're the ones with the goddamn ego. What do you do for a living? Surf around all day and drive the beach like a wicked cool awesome guy? Honestly, show us some credentials. Tell us what you do. Give us a reason to believe you. Otherwise, you're just some guy. That guy. I'm the guy. You are a guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm a guy. <laughs> Scribbling on a chalkboard, sitting in his mom's house, surrounded by, I don't know, a cache of preserves? Where are you? Ugh. I swear to God, I have had conversations with, well, not Daniel Pratt. I mean, you can leave Daniel Pratt comments, but... Anyways, I have had conversations with Phuket, I have had conversations with Cece, I have had conversations with Ranty even, and none of them made me want to reach through my screen and choke the living hell out of them like you do. You're such an arrogant son of a bitch. You dig through the videos and all you can find is him going, I'm going to break it down, I'm going to talk real slow. You know what? Dial it back. Dial it back. I'm not being fair. This is probably how he learned to talk. Everybody's always been talking to him slowly very slowly looking down on the top north pole right i drew this up as a little compass this happens in reality the only thing a compass is is a little needle sitting in some fluid in a frictionless fluid suspended by a tiny little post you know there's about that much room under it so it can just kind of pivot on that little center post all it is is a needle with some iron filing set on the end of one side so that can be attracted to the magnetic north. Iron filings are attracted to the north pole. That's it. That's all the compass is. They have to be laying flat. I have to stress this. They have to be laying flat. They do not work if you tip them because compasses do not point down or up. Well... I can tell you, surf boy, that you're already incorrect. The compass has one more very important piece you missed. I mentioned this to you in your comments, and I never once received an answer. It's almost like its existence makes your whole claim invalid. I just don't want to do it yet. The hammer's so close. I just need something else. Give me more. Bottom of the globe to the south pole. Hemispherical means mirror opposite, right? So if you can circle the north pole, in the north, you should be able to 
circle the south pole in the south, correct? Your compass would absolutely have to forget that the North Pole exists because, remember, in the North Pole, it's not showing south as one single point. You're circling around a point and showing south every direction away from north. Every direction away from north is south. Got it? South, 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 south. This is one single point. It is one single point. I have to stress that. One point that you pivot around, okay? Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you for breaking that down for me. I'm just a simple southern beaver. When you get down here, does the compass point to the south pole and pivot around it? No. The compass in the south pole still points to the north pole. The compass only points north. So in the southern hemisphere, your compass would still have to point to this one single point. Because even in the southern hemisphere, ask people in Australia, New Zealand, or wherever, their compasses point north. They do not navigate using the south pole. This does not happen. Why? Because in order to do this on the bottom of a sphere, north could not possibly be one single point now. It would be a ring. You have to think of the underside of a sphere. Right? When you're under it, think about it. Put your finger on the underside of a sphere. Now your needle's pointing off into space and making a ring. Like this, you know, boom. It's like a ring pointing off into every direction away from south. Like that. You have to picture this as a sphere, like a... Hello, hello, Captain Beaver, sir. This seems to be an issue with our compass. I don't get it. it. It's just pointing up into the sky. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Something about having a compass from the right zone or hemisphere. You know, if I recall, Greater Sapien actually explained this recently, so let's take a peek at what he found. Because of the Earth's two magnetic poles, north and south, the lines of the Earth's magnetic field point down in the far north of the planet and point up in the far south. Because of this, Australian compasses are balanced in such a way as to bring the north pointer down to level. Because of this, if an Australian compass were to be used in a northern hemisphere where the magnetic field lines are at level or downward, depending on where you are, that compass needle would tilt downward. If I'm telling the truth. Well, it took some doing, but I got a hold of an Australian region compass. As you can see, this compass is calibrated for the southern hemisphere and the needle is pointing downward while here in Oakland, California. Ha! Go figure! It's probably just those stupid Australian compasses, right? These three compasses, I don't know if you remember which one's which, this is the southern hemisphere compass. This here is the world needle, so it can work at any point, any place on the earth. And this is the northern hemisphere compass that I had. But as you can see here, that needle is doing just fine. Well, here we are in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's doing just fine. But hey, our Northern Hemisphere compass, odd, the needle seems to be pointing upwards. Interesting. What the f***? I told you to watch that video by Greater Sapien before you purchase gear for our journey. Where do you even get this compass? Who gave it to you? That guy over there. He said there was only one attractive point on the globe and he didn't say shit about weights or anything to counteract the magnetic field. Now how are we supposed to get home? <sighs> well, I'll finish this out I guess here. Thank you Greater Sapien in advance for not copyright striking my limited use of his videos regarding compasses and their hemispheres. It's really great scientific work he performs over on his channel, and I'll link him in my description. You should really go check out the full version on his page if you haven't. So what to say you, surf boy? Well, since Florida's a very maritime state, I know you have some amazing sail shops. One's outrigged for epic adventures. Go in and ask them what compass you need if you're traveling to the tip of South America, and then ask them why. Then try to tell him he's full of ego and see if someone doesn't kick the shit out of you for flapping your gums and not doing some listening. There's so much to unpack with this guy. We will be visiting him again, you can rest assured.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Plus, as I finish this episode, we cruise towards 1,000 subs, and I hear they're starting to pick what kind of bubble bath brand we're using, so that should be fun. Stick around.